Well, in this video, we're going to look at the algebra of complex numbers. We are going to look at five complex expressions. We're going to take each one and simplify it and write it in the standard form, a plus bi or a plus ib if you prefer. <clears throat> Let's start with the first one. We have 1 plus i times 2 plus i, and then we take the complex conjugate of that product, and then multiply, multiply it by 3 plus i. So, I am going to put, I'm going to multiply these two together by foiling them out, and that would give me, the first would give me a 2, plus i, plus 2i is plus 3i, plus i squared. So, so far, all I have done is multiplied these two underneath the complex conjugate bar together, and then multiply by 3 plus i. <clears throat> now, recall i squared is negative 1. So, if we combine this negative 1 and the 2, we get 1 plus 3i, complex conjugate, times 3 plus i. Well, the complex conjugate of 1 plus 3i is simply 1 minus 3i. And now all we need to do is multiply together, again using FOIL like we usually do, to find out what this is equal to. Let's see. The first would give me 3. The outer would be i. The negative would be negative 9i, the inner. So we have i minus 9i is minus 8i. And then the last is going to give us a negative 3i squared. But remember what this is. This is just positive 3 because i squared is a negative 1 times negative 3 is a positive 3. So we have 3 plus 3 which gives us 6 minus 8i. So this product looks a little com complicated is simplifies to 6 minus 8i. Now let's move on to number 2. And I think that'll be the end of this video. I'll do the final three in the next video. So number two, we're taking i minus 1 cubed, and we're taking just the real part of it. So we need to compute i minus 1 raised to the third. Note that this i minus 1 is not written in standard form. I, if I wanted to write it in this form, it would be negative 1 plus i raised to the third. But it's fine. We don't need to worry about that till the end. So this is equal to the real part of, well, I need to multiply this by itself three times. So what I'm going to do is i minus 1 squared, I'll do that in my head, and then i minus 1. Okay, so i minus 1 cubed is i minus 1 squared times i minus 1. Let's do this product first. Okay, if I square this, I'm going to get i squared minus 2i plus 1. Okay? And I'll simplify that and then multiply it by i minus 1. So that gives us the real part of. Well, i squared is just a negative 1. So this is negative 1 and 1 cancels out to 0. So this gives me negative 2i times i minus 1. So I'm going to distribute that, and I will get negative 2i squared, correct? That and then this, plus 2i. All right, maybe I'll move out to the right. And this will be the real part of, well, notice that this is the real part. i squared is a negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. 
And the real part of this is simply that right there. The imaginary part would also be 2 in this case, but the real part of this number, complex number, is that number 2.